A warm good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. It's a wonderful Sunday again. We are back with uh, the second episode of the International E-Conclave on Oral Cancer. Today, uh, the, 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 this year's theme is Capacity Building for Oral Cancer. And now I would like to invite Reena, ma'am, Academic Director uh, of the Icon Care Academy, to talk about the Icon Care's perspective and how we are uh, trying to make an attempt to define uh, oral cancer. Thank you, Shruti. So at the outset, on behalf of Icon Care, it gives me immense pleasure to welcome our honored dignitaries, accomplished faculty, chairpersons, moderators, quiz lead, quiz master, and very importantly, our very valuable delegates and viewers to the second international oral cancer econ care, which is being spread over four weeks with the theme capacity building for dealing with oral cancers. As we all understand, globally oral cancer ranks very high amongst the cancers, but in India, it is like one of the killer cancers, and we have around 77,000, I think, new cases and a huge number of deaths annually. So with this kind of a scenario, where we have, uh, uh, you know, a potential uh, pre-malignant lesion there before it actually turns into malignancy, and also we have numerous risk factors, whether it is tobacco consumption, whether uh, in smokeless or other forms, and the smoking forms, we have the nutrient deficiency diet, we have oral hygiene issues, we have viral infections, we have everything. So considering all of this, there is a need, you know, because uh, this, this uh, conclave comes out of it that there are risk factors, there is a demand in this country, and there is a healthcare demand, which is like a global demand coming up and in a pressure like in country like India, where the uh, economic transitions are happening, I think the, the demand on healthcare is very, very high. So at I Can Care, we realize and recommend that capacity building to redefine oral cancers is only with a multi-prong approach. It cannot happen any other way. So the first week, we would say making prevention and early diagnosis of oropharyngeal cancers as a mandatory universal responsibility for every healthcare professional. The second approach is to actually catapult dental surgeons and ENT surgeons in the forefront of the capacity building campaign. Because we as, a, uh, you know, by default, we can visualize and examine the oral cavity of every patient who comes into the clinic. The third capacity building strategy would be upskilling every healthcare professional to conduct an oral screening because we know that oral screening is one of the simplest and the easiest ways. And of course, not just do it, but educate and empower every patient who comes into the clinic to be able to examine their own oral cavity. That's a very important part, self-examination. The next strategic approach would aim at creating tobacco cessation specialists in all healthcare domains. I would say but the uh, one before I, you know, the penultimate capacity building strategy is to create research teams. Because unless we work to innovate, as the need of the R is to manufacture simple, portable, you know, uh, financially viable, but reliable equipment, especially for mass screening, for recognizing this early pre-malignant lesions and oropharyngeal cancers, developing biomarkers, lab on chip to facilitate an early detection. And the sixth and the most revolutionary cap capacity building strategic approach, I would say, would be harnessing digital technology, smartphones, machine learning, and artificial intelligence to create algorithms for decision making. Dear colleagues, friends, everybody, I think the time is ripe that we respond to the wake up call to reconceptualize, recontextualize, reassess our strategies to redefine oral cancers by being agile action-oriented, incorporate critical thinking, be innovative and collaborative to get the entire healthcare workforce focused on oral cancer. Education and advocacy forums like this Oncology eConnect is definitely a step towards this direction. I wish you all great deliberations, learnings and sharing at the second International Oral Cancer Conclave brought to you by I Can Care in collaboration with Gujarat University, Foundation for Head and Neck Oncology and Sterling Cancer Hospital. Let's have a great learning and understanding of this deadly disease together. Thank you, Shruti. Thank you so much, ma'am. I think that was really powerful.